Siemaneczki, ziomeczki, witam was wszystkich, oczywiście w kolejnym tutaj odcinku z The Walking Dead. Aż zapomniałem tutaj słuchawek w ogóle e, założyć, mikrofon sobie tutaj schowam. Poprzedni odcinek skończyliśmy na bodajże gierce w karty. No i tutaj zostaliśmy przydzieleni do naszego nowego pokoju, na to wygląda. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like ten? Yeah, like ten. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oj, chyba kredki zabraliśmy. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. Ja nie ma opcji, trzeba oddać. Oddajemy. We give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Właśnie, to nie należy do nas. To nie mamy co sobie tego przepłaszczać. Just let Ten want it since it was his sister's and all. Zwłaszcza, że to do okay. jego właśnie zmarłej siostry należy, o to tym bardziej. I don't mind. No, a to bardzo miło z tej strony. Ha, huh. I see you're um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls, lots of color, and Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis though. She had actual talent. <laughs> She had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Bodie and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Do you mind us being here in their room? Nah, it's it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad actually. I'm glad it's getting some use instead of just sitting around picking up dust. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. Uh, 
Did you? Oh. <laughs> hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. <laughs> if I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Widać tą więź między nimi, nie? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. Nie, nie będzie no. I'll be okay. I promise. Spróbuj. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Jeszcze się przyjemnisz. Give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Mhm, bo mieliśmy mieliśmy z rana iść do jego właśnie tego mm, gabinetu. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These are the people who protected us. Where are they? Nima. I've never seen one before. You already know what happened to them. They weren't strong enough. No, that's not true. They were super strong. Now give it to me and. No, he's mine now. Nie, no tak nie było, no ej. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Nie, no dajemy, no nie będziemy się rządzić w nowym miejscu, nie? Żeby nas wali od razu. Trzeba go trochę tu przytemperować. Trochę za bardzo się rzuca, AJ. Żeby to się potem nam czkawką nie odbiło, nie? Marlon? Oi. Stay back. Co nie rzuca się? Dogs brought back bad memories. Sorry, 
I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. <sighs> See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. <laughs> Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay. I guess. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. No, proszę, jak się krzyczy. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part. And what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Louis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. A shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Blind Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> you can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. 
Well, the same will, anyway. Lewis, uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. Hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Idziemy łowić ryby. Get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Okay, czyli idziemy. Żarełko znowuć, tak? Z Violet i tą drugą. Pamiętam, jak się nazywa. Brody, o. One się chyba nie lubią coś. Przyszedł pan Maruda. Nieszczyciel dobrej zabawy. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Bai, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. Yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. O, są łódź. No to by wiele wyjaśniało, dlaczego ona tak jest wrogo nastawiona. Nie 
about me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. To raczej się nie przyda. Mam jedną. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. A druga? Halo. Check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I want to try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. <coughs> Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Będzie zona. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. We weren't trying to upset you. No, no, it's okay. Seriously, it's kind of nice having someone in there again. You hate her. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one. Clem, I got one. <laughs> Good job. I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. It's because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody. To tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim. See if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. 
Yeah. That would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah. We're right behind you. No i kozak. Już się chyba aż tak bardzo nienawidzą. Nie nienawidzą, sorry. Ale więcej dowiecie się w kolejnym odcinku. Dzięki serdecznie oczywiście za oglądanie. Zostawcie łapę w górę, jeśli chcecie więcej The Walking Dead. No i do następnego odcinka. Trzymajcie się. Cześć, cześć.